Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures, where today we're here in sunny Benidorm. It's July 2023 and you know what? It is really nice to be here, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely to be here. We were huge fans of the TV show Benidorm, which has inspired our trip here. Oh yeah, we absolutely loved it. In fact, recently we binge watched the whole thing on Netflix, <laughs> didn't we? Uh, back to back over like two weeks. Absolutely fantastic. I remember watching the Benidorm TV series back home when it first came out and thought, you know what? We've got to come here and visit. Of course, we've come to visit Terra Mythica, which is a theme park here, and that vlog will be coming up over on Theme Park Worldwide. But we thought we can't come here to Benidorm without having a look round. And look at this, the beach is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, of course, you've got all the mountains in the distance. And yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a stroll round. We've got no real plan, have we, today? No, we'll just see what we see along the way. Yeah, definitely. Take it all in, the sights and sounds of sunny Benidorm. Along with that, we'll check out some of the filming locations from that TV series, and so much more. Of course, Benidorm is a very popular holiday destination for many people, especially lots of Brits that come over here. And look at the beach, it's absolutely jam-packed down there. Gorgeous hot day. And yeah, look at the skyline here as well, all the high-rise tower blocks, hotels, apartments. Beautiful. People out there enjoying some water sports, some jet skiing over there. You've probably just seen the big inflatable course that there is too. And yeah, we're gonna have a nice stroll round. And yeah, just take it as it goes really, you know, and just enjoy Benidorm for what it is. Yeah, look at that massive inflatable course over there. I'll give you a bit of a zoom in. You see, you can see it a little bit better. Look at that. Absolutely huge. Oh, so you got loads of bars and restaurants all down here along the front. The live music over there too. What a vibe. All the palm trees. And yeah, the front here is really nice. I like all the colors on the floor as well. Yeah, so we're making our way in this direction down towards the harbour that you can see over there and also just behind it, the Old Town. So yeah, we're going to have a stroll through the Old Town and kind of head down towards the other side of Benidorm. We yeah, have really nice vibes this afternoon. Just walking down here, 30 degrees Celsius. Perfect. Yeah, look at everybody out there on the beach. Soaking up the sunshine. Oh, beautiful. Yes, yeah, so we'll stroll down this way. And Benidorm's absolutely huge because you've got this beach that stretches all the way in that direction, all the way around there. And then, yeah, on the other side of these buildings, you've got the other beach just over there too. And that's where we're heading to via the old town. And yeah, the viewpoint at the top just there. And just take it all in. I love rock and roll. What a tune. Oh, look at all the palm trees down here. Really nice. And yeah, you've got loads of little market stalls all set up down here too. Look at these pigeons, they're all white. Hey, loads of them all the way around here. Hello. Nice uh, Benidorm pigeons. I've not got any food for you, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Is that just off one of these trees or something? I don't know. I don't know, it looks like it. Or somebody yeah. chucked it down. I don't know, it looks like it's maybe fell off the trees. I'm not too sure. Well. Oh, yeah, it must have done. So we're around here now in the Benidorm Harbour. And look at this, all the boats just here. And the skyline is fantastic. And you've got all the mountains over there in the background as well. Very scenic. And we started the vlog somewhere just over there. And of course walked down the front just here. And yeah, loads of big high rise buildings. And look how clear the water is down there. That looks really appealing that just to jump in. I'll, water, oh, I'll definitely be going for a bit of a paddle. You've got this nice little cove beach just over here too. It is gorgeous around here, it really is. Long to Benidorm. So we've just walked out to the end of the harbour here. Really nice breeze here too. It's absolutely roasting, but I'm not complaining. The weather is rubbish at home at the moment. I'm just so happy to be here, it's oh, lovely. It's so nice to be in the sunshine. I can't believe how lovely the watercolour is. Oh, it is gorgeous, it really it's is. Beautiful. And yeah, looking out there, of course, you can see the island. Uh, Benidorm Island, it's known as. However, locals call it Peacock Island. And that name might ring a bell if you have watched the Benidorm TV series. Honestly, if you've never seen it before, you've got to watch it. It's absolutely hilarious. The comedy in there is great. And yeah, um, that was featured in there. There was a wedding on the island, wasn't there? And they had chips and rice, Monty. <laughs> chips and rice. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> and yeah, of course, like swimming back out as well from the island. Oh, like, yeah, fantastic. Brilliant TV series. 
And now look at this over here. And they do the da 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 I really like this wall down here, it sets the scene for if you're having a photo. Like you just get it here in the foreground and then the awesome backdrop there. Spectacular view from up here though, isn't it? I just want to go and jump in that water, it looks so appealing, really nice. And the music coming from that beach bar just really adds to the overall ambience too. I'm at the top of that little hill just here now. Yeah, you've got a big anchor just here too. Yeah, we're going to continue up this way and we should get a view looking over at the other beach round to the left in just a moment. But yeah, if we keep walking up this way, we'll get to the viewpoint just up here by the looks of it. And yeah, there's a look at the other half of Benny Dorm round on that side. And the big cannons just here too. Look at the size of them. Massive. Castel de Benny Dorm. Oh, look at this them up here. Absolutely stunning. And here you can actually see Terra Mitica, the theme park over there too. At the time of recording, we're visiting there tomorrow. And that vlog will already be online over on Theme Park Worldwide if you want to go and watch it. Yeah, it's the theme park that they've got here and it's actually just up there at the bottom of those mountains. You can see the big sign, a bit like the Hollywood sign. However, instead of saying Hollywood, it says Terra Mitico. And yeah, you can see some of the rides just up there. And there's a look down towards the harbour area. Obviously, we walked along there a few minutes ago. I'm just up here on the top now. Beautiful here. And yeah, this was actually used in the TV series Benny Dawn because yeah, they actually set this up as a restaurant here quite a few times throughout the different series. Um, this was featured up here as a restaurant. Obviously in real life, it's not actually a restaurant at all. Um, yeah, they put all the tables around here. And yeah, this was like an on-location set. Uh, quite a lot of the things that were in Benny Dawn were actually real places. However, um, this one is a real place, but it's just got a different purpose. It's more just an observation area and not a restaurant. But yeah, you may remember them um, kind of sitting down here, this big terrace area. Yeah, in quite a few of the different series of Benidorm itself. It's just so nice walking around, not really having a big plan, just relaxing and taking it all in, really. But yeah, all this wall really makes it around the side. I like these two columns as well, they're very nice. Oh, look at this, the colour of the water is stunning. Beautiful, very scenic with the steps down there. All at the bottom too. Quite a few steps that bring you down into this area here. All the rocks. And Bert the Seagulls even comes to join us here in Spain as well. There he is. <laughs> I like how even the lights look like rocks from the back. Just to blend in, that's quite cool. The big flood lights. Very scenic. Another view there looking out at Peacock Island. Chips and rice, Monty. Chips and rice. <laughs> Oh, there's a nice breeze just standing here. Another look there at the skyline of Benidorm. And yeah, quite a few of the TV film locations are in that direction, including the Solana itself. It's not actually called the Solana Hotel in real life, but we'll head down there and check it out. Hopefully we're gonna be able to go inside and have a little look down at the pool area, but I'm not fully too sure, but we'll definitely have a look at the exterior and see what we can down there. Hopefully it's open for us to just walk through. And along with that as well, we're gonna to head to somewhere called Mateo's Bar, and that's opened up um, quite recently actually, and that's got um, a lot of the props that were actually used in the TV series that's there as well. really cool to see, I'm looking forward to that. Including the big Neptune sign, oh, Solana, wow. like front desk and all that kind oh, of stuff. Cool. Yeah, so we're gonna go and see that. And then we're also gonna to head to the location where Neptune's Bar itself was filmed. It's not called Neptune's, it's got a different name, but yeah, we'll touch all that later on when we get round to it. Whee, there goes the banana boat. <laughs> oh, it looked great fun, that does. Oh, well, that was a trek up all those steps, wasn't it? Oh, my God, it's so hot. <laughs> I might have to buy one of them Spanish fans to fan me down. Yeah, I can waft it then yeah, all day like it's that. It's so hot. Now, of course, within this area, you used to stand the castle itself by the looks of it. And yeah, you can see some of the ruins of it just down here at the bottom. So just a couple of minutes around the corner, and we're going to have a stroll through the old town of Benidorm just here now. Charlotte's on a mission to try and find a fan. We've just been to a shop up there and they were closed for siesta. <laughs> this one's open here though. 
fans, loads of little gift shops. All the balconies too. What's great about the old town here, you can just kind of get lost in all the streets, walking round and yeah, it's not like big roads, you know, there's tiny little passageways and steps. It's just got a lot of charm and character about it. Well, we've just been into the gift shop and I present to you Charlotte the Flamenco. Just oh, 23 euros 50, that's really good. Good price, that. It is. Nice small little independent business just down here. Yeah, she, she was having a little sing song. She was, know? yeah, it's making me laugh actually. <laughs> yeah, she's having a sing song. Living the life, that's the thing, the Spanish sunshine. Just makes you happier in general, doesn't it, when you're in the sunshine all day. Gorgeous. Oh, this has got a lot of charm to it. Look at that street just there. Very narrow, and then the palm tree at the top. And you kind of see like all the mosaic pattern in the floor in there. Oh, I can hear with Charlotte getting this fan out now. It's a quite a satisfying noise, isn't it? You look so Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> all the flowers, loads of little bars, restaurants down here. Got a lot of charm about it around here. Oliver's British Bar, loads of British pubs and bars, especially down around this area. Tell you what, Europa's got a nice shop front just here, hasn't it? Look at that, all the rock work. Then they're closed for siesta. <laughs> Saw a sign just saying one euro beers, one euro slushies. I will be having beer. Oh, yes. Nice cocktail this afternoon. Love just walking around these streets without a map or anything, and just taking it all in. Wouldn't fancy driving down here, though. <laughs> Big restaurant just over here, look at the size of the bowls. Paella. When you're walking down somewhere like this, it's like, which way do you go? Straight on, that way, left, like, so to see everywhere. Look at this, let's go down here. This looks quite a cute little street. But so does that way too. Yeah, Benny has got a lot of appeal. I do really like it here. Really nice, all the little bars and restaurants at the side. Yeah, this has got a lot of charm about it though, hasn't it? Like a really tight street like this. Eating paella. What you find abroad, especially in Spain, is a lot of the bars and restaurants have like a full menu with pictures of what you get as well, just on the front. I love this down here, like they're seated on both sides. You can barely get through in the middle, you know. It really just adds to it. Look at that in there. You're loving that fan, aren't you? <laughs> Grilled octopus, not for me. I'll stick to hot dog. It's like a sign of Yeovil though when you walk down some of these trees. Look at it, you don't know where to look. Plaza Mayo Shopping Centre. Do you want to look in there? Oh yeah, let's head down this way and have a look. Anywhere where there's air conditioning, I'm in. <laughs> Quite nice down here. Lots of shopping, isn't it, Charlotte? Oh, there's so many shops. Yeah, to see. You're hot there. Oh, honestly, I'm sweating so much. My hair's like stuck to me. <laughs> it is really hot. Like my eyeballs are sweating just. Like my upper lips just sweating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, look how cute this fridge magnet is. I absolutely love it. <laughs> like the little wine bottles on oh. there. And the glass. So many options of food as well. If you want the local paella, you can do. You can have pizza and chips. Whatever you fancy. Yeah, we're going to carry on down this way. I don't really have a clue where we're going. We're just strolling around, taking it all in. Sketches shop there. Pirate themed candy shop. I can see the sea again though down there. So I think we're heading in the right direction. I think so. Duck world over there. Look at that. I want it all its <laughs> Rubber ducks. Sketches. That's quite funny, isn't it? Duck world. <laughs> 
Oh, we found a nice little bar just down here by the beach. Charlotte's gone for a beer just now. Oh, it's so nice in the sunshine when you have a beer. Oh, refreshing. There you go. <laughs> you find just there as well. Oh, How much was it for a pint? It was 4.70 for a pint. Not, too, not bad. too bad at all. Yeah. Now I've gone for this milkshake. Look at this. Wow, I love a good milkshake. He did bring us some nuts over as well. We don't really like nuts, <laughs> but there you go. Just a courtesy thing, I think. <laughs> but yeah, nice milkshake just here. Cream on top. Beautiful. We're in Benidorm. Well, there's the bar we just spent about 30 minutes at, Nabab just over there, very nice. And yeah, look at this, so yeah, just put into perspective where we are, we was on the beach at the other side of the old town just here this morning, and we went up to the top section just there, that's where the nice white wall was, and walked through the old town, and here we are on the other side, look at this beach, it's gorgeous here in Banidor, it really is. Lots of bars down here, look how busy it is there, the City Sports Bar. Lots down here, I'd say there's more bars on this side than what we saw on the other side, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there's quite a few. How was your beer? Oh, it was lovely, absolutely beautiful. Still got the fan going strong there? I need it, it's so hot. It is really hot, you gotta be careful walking down here, you don't just wanna step onto the beach, it's about a metre drop just down there. <laughs> I recognise this flooring though, quite a lot of the filming for the Benidorm TV series was done down on this area just there, including the wedding scene that was done over here on the beach, if you remember that. Uh, and just in general, some shots where they kind of came out from the Solana, and which of course is right down the back, further down here, uh, with a different name, of course, like we'll talk about when we get there. But yeah, you recognize this flooring because they kind of came out and done quite a few scenes throughout the series just down here on this front area. Burger King just over there. And all the gorgeous palm trees. One of my favorite things that is about coming to Spain, all these beautiful palm trees. Gorgeous. And yeah, all your sunbeds here, all blue. Isn't that big inflatable over there? Yeah, it's a massive one. It's the same sort of one as we saw on the other side, that, isn't it? Big inflatable. Yeah, loads of bars. Very nice. Tiki bar, Tiki town. Got the Guinness bar just over there. Loads of British bars. Quite a few themed ones as well. Down here. Oh, look at this. Charlotte's happy with the prices. That's all right, that, isn't it? How good that? Good pricing down here. Don't stop the party. Got some dancers out the front of that one. <laughs> stop the party. <laughs> You're having a good time out there, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Nothing like the sound of the waves crashing in, is there? Yes, yeah, so I look at the prices for that big inflatable. I'm sure, he said 16 euros for an hour on there, and you must have swim out to it and spend an hour on there, not too bad if so. I like how they put this little rope across so you can't really set up in front of it. It means if you want to keep walking down here all the way across, you can do, and you're not gonna get obstructed by like the sun loungers. And that's a nice setup, you're we'll right there. <laughs> oh yes, nothing nicer than dipping your toes in. They're in lovely belly dome. Hey, oh! <laughs> they get bigger, man. Oh. How's your bug bites getting on, Charlotte? To be honest, they're getting better now. <laughs> they are quite bad. You yeah, have some pretty big ones from Port Ventura. I have allergic reactions to bug bites, so I just have to grin a bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is nice. The water is just a nice temperature as well. Oh, this is lush. Perfect way to spend summer 2023. And there you got the pedlos out there, including a the swan. Hey, I like the swan. And it's actually got a slide on the back. Is that the swan's tail? I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, that one's also got a slide with the racing car just there too. You gotta watch out down here because you've actually got some big rocks down in here too. Only in some areas, but yeah, you've got all the rocks that you gotta watch for, you don't want to go tripping up. Oh, I love this little bit of sand art just over here. That's awesome. Oh, beautiful. We've been walking down here for about 20 minutes now. Just taking it all in. It is gorgeous. You enjoying Benny Dome, Charlotte? Beautiful Benidorm. Miles upon miles of beaches here.
Well, that was an absolutely lovely walk along the beach, wasn't it, Charlotte? Oh, I just really enjoyed that. We walked quite a bit as well. Yeah, we have. Like, you look all the way over there now. I think, blimey, it was on that little top section a couple of hours ago. I'm um, like looking over the water. And yeah, we've walked all the way down to the end here. But yeah, that was lovely. Really enjoyed that. And the gorgeous sunshine. It's a scorcher today, isn't the it? The sand was so hot getting back <laughs> onto the path. The good thing is, they've got like these little showers for your feet um, over at the side, which is good. So if you take your socks off, it you can do that. It washes the sand off, which is great. Yeah, it's ideal that is. But yeah, you just got to be careful. We were running across oh, the beach. It was so hot. Yeah, it was. Lots more bars and restaurants down here. But if you want something a little bit more recognizable, of course, you've got Burger King McDonald's just over there as well. Lovely location for the Mackies actually down here on the front. More bars down here. And yeah, we're just going to have a little walk around this corner to another Danny Dawn filming location. And yeah, this is Mal's Mobility Shop just around here that we're going to go and find. The old scooter hire shop around here. I don't think it is actually a scooter hire shop, but we're going to try and find the building where that was filmed for the TV series. Stunning view back across the beach from here. And yeah, here it is. This is where they filmed Mal's Mobility Store. Literally right here. It's a restaurant now. Yeah, it was all this building and of course they put a big kind of facade on the front all the signage and that's where it was filmed right there there's a look out to cable ski that you've got there too see i wonder what it was at first from a distance but yeah you must swim out and you get kind of pulled along on the cable over there in the water fantastic yeah it's stunning here but yeah i love coming and finding these filming locations that looks so different there doesn't it there you go but yeah you can tell when you look at old images when you look at these uh, beams at the top these columns coming down and also that window with the balcony on the corner just over there that's where it was filmed right we're going to start making our way in this direction now up towards the Solana itself so hopefully we're going to be able to just stroll in and have a walk around I had a look online and a lot of people have said they can just stroll in and have a walk through so we'll go and see the pool hopefully uh, where a lot of Bain Dorn was filmed, a lot of the funny moments around that pool, um, which was absolutely awesome. Yeah, it's about a six minute walk up in this direction. So we're going to head up that way now and we'll go and have a look. Oh, you've got loads of British pubs all around here. You've got the Piccadilly just over here. You've just seen something nice, haven't you? There. Double egg and chips. Oh, lovely. Chips and rice, Monty. Chips and rice. And here we go, about a 10 minute walk, I'd say, there from the beach. We've made it here to the Sol Pelicanas Arcas, aka the Solana. This is it. So, yeah, they actually used this as the exterior shot here for the Solana. Of course, the sign was all the way down here. And yeah, what's really interesting here is, of course, they used this exterior shot quite a lot throughout. However, the interior shots, uh, it was a mix between the apartment blocks you can see just over there behind. Uh, that's where the bedrooms were um, that they'd always stay in, of course. And that's actually part of a different complex. That's the apartment blocks and, of course, the hotel separate here. The magic of TV. And along with that, the reception area uh, that was featured a lot of the time. And also, as well, like the little bar that they had in there. And also, along with that, um, the hairdressing Blow salon. Glow and go. And um, that was actually in a studio that was set up near you Benidorm Palace. You don't realise how much actually goes into these TV programmes. And getting the continuity between yeah, shots and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, there we go. This is it, the Solana itself. So we're going to walk inside here and hopefully... Get and have a look at the pool itself because there is a pool just here however that isn't the one it's just round the corner looking on google maps so here we go that's the solana oh so without a wristband this is actually the closest that we can get just here we, you can see the swimming pool mateo's pool bar around the corner just over there we, yeah we can't get any further up unfortunately it's understandable yeah that's the thing i've had to get a lot of people coming down there imagine, to come yeah. and have a look but uh, there we go the pool area the main area where the filming was done just around the corner over there great to come and see it there in person now, as much as we can't actually go and walk around the pool area, I've just come up in the lift here to the 13th floor and you can get a fantastic view looking down at it from here and you realise how big it actually is in person. In fact, when the filming for Benny Dawn was taking place, the hotel was still open, the pool was still accessible and yeah, that's because they just closed off the side of the pool that you were using for filming. All this area wasn't really used. It was actually the small section over at the back just there. And you can see the pool bar there where Matteo was serving up his cocktails. And yeah, the Garveys and all the other families. I mean, the Garveys are my favourite. Yeah, all the other characters that appear in the show that have all been on the deck chairs, sunbeds all over there at the back. Fantastic. Well, yeah, there's a look at the big pool area just here. Yeah, it's absolutely massive. You didn't realise when you saw the TV show. 
back outside then now and yeah it's a shame that we couldn't go a bit closer to the pool area however it's completely understandable a lot of people have paid to stay here and they probably have a lot of people coming down here uh, coming to look at the pool area don't yeah, they and then it would end up being too congested with people who aren't staying yeah I completely understand yeah. that maybe at some point in the future we'll uh, book to come down here and stay here to be honest I did try to uh, however it was fully sold out for our dates on I wanted to it's come one of them where a lot of people who are coming to Benidorm want to stay here yeah and it didn't look too expensive when yeah. I was looking either but with our dates out. it was sold out you know which is a shame I'd imagine it's sold out a lot of the time especially in peak season I would have definitely would have come and stayed here uh, for either the three nights we're here in Benidorm or even just one night trying to come and stay down here but uh, there you go you can also see why they didn't use the uh, reception area mainly of course because uh, it was a functioning hotel at the time when they were recording and filming it however um, it's nowhere near as cheesy and colourful as the Solana reception from the oh, set oh we loved it so much oh fantastic <laughs> well, yeah it was well worth coming down here so have a look now, Darren Lytton, of course, the writer of Benidorm, actually opened a bar um, down here, not too far away, called Mateo's Bar. Uh, so we're going to go and check that out now. They've actually got some props in there um, that were used during the filming, such as the Neptune sign, uh, some other bits. I believe the bar is actually the check-in desk from the Solana in there as well. Oh, that would be really good to see. Yeah, so we're going to head down that way. It should have opened at four o'clock. I believe they were closed a few weeks ago. They had some sort of plumbing issues. So fingers crossed they're back open again. So we're going to get on Google Maps now and find that out. I love this lady's hat that's oh, coming down here. There you go, umbrella hat coming past. Fantastic. Yeah, if you do want to stay at the Solana, the Benidorm Hotel, the Sol Pelicanas <laughs> Ocas just here. Well, I do hope you're enjoying our little tour around Benidorm here in Spain. We're having a lovely day. Hopefully it's bringing a nice bit of sunshine into your living room or wherever you're watching from. So we've got the Solana just over there. And here we've got Charlotte doing a bit of, we can't really call it flamenco, but I don't know what it is. just a bit of a Spanish dance for you all. I say a Spanish dance because she's got the fan. But, oh, the fan. <laughs> really nice. Now, of course, we're making our way down here now towards Mateo's bar because, yeah, that should have opened at four. So hopefully that should be open now. And yeah, it's seven o'clock this evening. Morgan Tavern should be opening up here and this is the actual Neptune's bar. So there we go, all them scenes with the karaoke, all the cheesy entertainment. Yeah, a lot of the best scenes from Benidorm were filmed right here at Morgan Tavern. Yeah, as you can see on the side of the boat, it actually says Neptune's just there too. So yeah, we will be heading in there later on. We're going to stay down this end for another couple of hours and we're going to make our way inside there and have a drink later on i think they have quite a lot of live entertainment and that sort of thing going on i don't there know if they do go. karaoke or not tells you what's on tonight oh there you go there you got all sorts of different shows there you go 7 15 8 9 10 oh yeah all sorts of stuff going on so yeah, we're gonna we've got liam gallagher tribute to her have we uh, uh, oh god i tell you what they have a lot of shows going on don't they oh look at this yeah we're we'll definitely going to have a cocktail in here look at this fantastic morgan tavern well yeah we'll head down here later on see so, yeah, all them kind of um internal shots of Neptunes were all filmed just over here, right around the corner from the Solana, which of course was that building just over there. And yeah, in the show, of course, they made out that uh, Neptunes was kind of joined on to the hotel. You know, it's the magic of filming. What are you doing there, Charlotte? Yeah, <laughs> uh, Look at all that British products. I like that. Cornish pasties. Onion rings. Beans on toast. Scampi chips <gasps> just there. Jackie potatoes. <laughs> yes! Look at that, homemade food. This is British great. products, I do like how they do that. Oh, it's so British here, isn't Liver it? And onions. <laughs> chops. And I just spotted this as well, we nearly missed it. There we go, this is Neptune's Bar from the ITV series Benidorm. Oh. Come in and see for yourself. Yeah, you can see all the shots just here. So yeah, that's the sign that they've got down in Mateo's where we're heading to. So yeah, where we're going to next, this wasn't actually used for the filming or anything like that, but it's been set up um, by the writer of the show uh, with some props in there. It's quite a small bar by the looks of it, but still it looks great. Lots of old photos and that sort of thing. There's Mateo just there. There's Monty, oh, chips and rice. There he is, chips and rice, viewers. Chips and rice. Oh, it was a great TV yeah. series. One of my favorites of all time. I'd love them to bring it back. You know, I really would. But yeah, the garbage were my favorite in all of it. Fantastic. Yeah, there's a look at the front. Yeah, we'll head down here again later to Morgan Tavern. So this is like the main strip with all your bars, restaurants, nightlife down here. Yeah, lots of places have got entertainment as well, especially on an evening, which is great. You've got the big Western Saloon over there. Look at the theming on that. The windmill on the top and everything. Fantastic. Kind of reminds me of uh, Tornado Springs at Paltons Park back in the UK. Look at that. Fantastic. And yeah, I believe that was also featured in Benidorm as well. And here it is, welcome to Mateo's Bar. There he is just there, up on the signage. 
And yeah, we're gonna go and head inside, have a drink, or we'll have a look. And here we go then, one to the inside. Hey, that's the lot of sign just up there. And here's the bar area. I believe this is the actual reception desk. Some of the awards that they've won just up there on the wall as well, which is awesome. Some great photos of the cast as well. Hey, we've got the music playing in here as well. And there we go, we've got the blow and go cocktail just here. Stars by Kenneth. Seven euros for a cocktail. Really good pricing. Oh, that's nice that is, isn't it? Look at this in here. So you've got the Neptune's bar sign just up there. And loads of fantastic photos of the cast in here on all the walls. Look at this. We've got Mateo's name badge just on the wall there, which is awesome. And there he is. Now, oh, who remembers this scene at the end of the first series with the fake poo just here? when Kate was in the pool. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, they got that on display. <laughs> the Solana do not disturb signs there. From on the doors. This is also the phone just down there too. Nice photo of Mel there by the pool. And of course, Madge just here on the mobility scooter. And there it is, right down here. Fantastic photo of You've got the cigarettes in the front there as well. Madge one with the license plate there on the front. Fantastic. Loads of great photos all around the top. Also, they're actually playing highlights from the show, including some of the outtakes in here as well, which is great to see. They're like exclusives. Come on, Gladys, can you see the time? And there's a look at the blow and go sign just up there. And yeah, here on the door, Joyce Temple Savage, manager. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And yeah, they got a little bit of merchandise on sale in here as well. As you can see, Tory two euros, the little badges over there. And they've got the scripts just over there too. Series seven, episode three. Oh, some more great cast photos up on the wall here too, which is fantastic. Look at these. Oh, and there's Mateo dressed up when they did the Spanish bull scene. Fantastic. Oh, and there we go. There's Darren, who wrote the show down there at the bottom as well. On Magic Scooter. <laughs> yeah, back in 2017, they actually did a charity night, and my mum and dad were lucky enough to go to that and meet lots of the cast. And you can see on the side just there, uh, they had photos with them and everything. It was only 20 euros, and yeah, it was like a karaoke charity. And yeah, they said it was fantastic, seeing all the photos from that. Yeah, this is really nice in here. Love seeing all the photos. I've got to say the drinks price in here are really reasonable as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, seven euros for a lot of these. And I like this down here. All cocktails come with a free sugared rim. It's what Donald would have wanted. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a look at the drinks prices down here too. Yeah, really good. Worth pointing out it is cash only if you are coming here to the Tao's bar. But yeah, cocktails for seven euros. Fantastic. Are you enjoying that, Charlotte? So nice. I like the little, the little peg. Yeah, I think that's great. What a nice little souvenir. Oh, right underneath the Neptune sign there. Got a bit busier in here now, and yeah, there's a look. A Neptune's bar with the sign just over there. And of course, we're going to head into that bar a little bit later on in this video. There's the sign in the show, and here it is on the wall. <laughs> That was fantastic. And yeah, in the toilets, you've got like all the scripts on the wall, which is quite cool as well. There's a big sign for Mr. Wu in there as well. Oh, fantastic. Really enjoyed it in there. Really good. Have a look at the bar, which of course is the reception area for the Solana Hotel. Fantastic. Oh, and there he is, Mr. Wu. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> I tell you what, that was a great experience. I've actually got the little outdoor seating area here as well. If you come into Benidorm, and especially if you're a fan of the show, get yourself down here. Yeah, Tuesday to Sunday, 4 p.m. till late. Mateo's Bar in Benidorm. What a great experience that was. Really enjoyed that. Well, Mateo's Bar was absolutely fantastic. We really enjoyed it in there, didn't we? Oh, I absolutely loved it. 
love that and the bar staff were so friendly. Yeah, we had a really nice chat with her and the atmosphere really built up as well. It was ideal because I got round before we got busy uh, getting some footage of it all. And then yeah, it got really busy and the atmosphere built up, which was fantastic. Reasonably priced drinks in there as well. Um, a blow and go at seven euros. I don't think that's too bad for a cocktail at all. That's really good, that is. And uh, yeah, along with that, I think it's nice how the plane highlights as well, like the outtakes, parts of the show, and so much more mixed in with music as well. So it's really good. You have a little bit of music. Uh, there's some highlights on the screens. Just a really good atmosphere in there. Definitely would recommend a visit, of course, if you're coming down here to Benidorm. Anyway, we're going to try and get some food somewhere down this end now, and then we're going to actually head over to Neptune's. Yeah, looking forward oh, to looking that. Looking forward to it. Hey, we're going to see what some of the entertainment's like, and most importantly, just kind of see what inside, really, of course, where a lot of them scenes were filmed. Well, I don't think we've come to Benidorm and not come in a British pub just here, so we've come to the last stop sports bar. What have we gone for? Fish and chips just here. And look at this Coke glass just here. I love that. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, what have you got coming, Charlie? I've had chili con carne and chips and rice. Oh. Lovely. Lovely. There you go. Fantastic. Yeah, very nice. Isn't it? It's a bit like a Weatherspoons. <laughs> oh, and here's a look at Charlotte's. What you got there, then? So I've got the chili con carne, chips and rice. This looks lovely. Chips and rice, Monty. Chips, chips, chips and, and rice. rice. <laughs> Oh, it was nice, that was. Can't go wrong with cod and chips, can you? How was yours, Charlotte? Oh, mine was absolutely lovely. I really enjoyed it. That's good, then. Very good. And yeah, that was right next door to Neptune's just here. Yeah, Morgan Tavern, as it's officially known. But of course, you've got that Neptune sign on the outside. So yeah, we're going to head in here in just a moment. You literally feel like we've stepped into the Benidorm TV series. Hey, welcome to Neptune. We're actually going to be seeing Sean Foster Connolly, who also featured in the TV series as well, which will be awesome. And it's really well themed in here too, and there's the bar area you may recognise from the show, with Caribbean cocktails and the fish tank just there. I'm back watching the show, but in real life, I'm just sitting in here with him as well. I like, brilliant with our drinks. Neptune. I tell you what, it was fantastic there in Neptune's bar, wasn't it? Oh, that was absolutely brilliant to be in there. Yeah, it was a really good atmosphere, and of course, it felt like we we're actually on the show, didn't it? it Which is did. great. Everybody was just loving it. It was just such a good vibe. Yeah, and great to see Sean as well, who's actually off the program. Like, I didn't even realise that he performed there all the time. I thought he was just brought in for the show, um, but no, he actually performed yeah, in there. I thought he was an actor. I didn't realise. Yeah, I had no idea. I thought that was fantastic. Nice little surprise. And along with that as well, we saw another awesome act in there as well, which was great, didn't we? Carlos. Uh, yeah. He was so good. He was awesome in there, really getting the crowd going as you saw. But yeah, it's a really nice bar, free entry, drinks are reasonably priced as well. The cocktail was really nice. It's really well themed in there. I do like a good themed bar. Oh, there was just so much going on, like the fish tank, it was brilliant. Yeah, fantastic just to see it in there, especially after seeing it. I watched it for 10 years on the show, fantastic. What a day it's been. We also went round the corner, and we've just been to another bar where we've just seen Chrissy Rock from Benny Dorm as well. She was in the first few series uh, as the Solana manageress, and yeah, it was great to see her. She did a comedy act and a bit of singing as well so I've got a little bit of footage of her at the end uh, but it's a bit of footage of her singing Oh, I have 
absolutely fantastic. And yeah, we sat in there for an hour watching her show. Fantastic. Uh, she was just like she was on the TV show as well, which was brilliant. And yeah, loads of comedy. It was really good fun, oh, wasn't she it? She was so much fun. Like, so many laughs in there, which was great. Oh, definitely. And I tell you what, we've had a fantastic action-packed day today. It's been really nice just walking around Benidorm, taking it all in. Uh, we had a nice walk in the sea earlier on. That's it now. The sunbeds are all packed up for the night. All the brollies are down. Ready for another day, of course, tomorrow. But yeah, it's been really good here. Uh, we've had a fantastic day, and of course, we're here for a few days. So yeah, we're gonna get time to go into more venues and just chill out and enjoy it, which is gonna be fantastic. Like I say, if you head over to Theme Park Worldwide, you can see our vlog from Terra Mythica, the theme park that they've got here too. But yeah, we'll get a little bit more footage strolling back down to the hotel, some of the bars, and just the general vibe down here in Benidorm, Spain. <laughs> So many different bars and restaurants with live music. Really nice, chilled out vibe. And the temperature is much nicer on an evening now for walking around. It was hot, hot, hot earlier on. I'm not complaining though, <laughs> especially with how rubbish the weather looks like it's been back home these past few days. It's felt like a proper Spanish summer holiday for us this time, which has been really nice. Loads of hotels all down here on the front too. Yeah, fantastic. I like these blue lights up here too. Oh, it's awesome. Really busy tonight. What a great atmosphere. So much to see and do in Benidorm. Got the American bar over there too. I'm pretty sure that featured in an episode of Benidorm too. And they all went out on that stag night. <laughs> and also, I know we're here on the Sandbrook Adventures and this is fitting more over on Theme Park Worldwide, but still, look at this wheel just there, hand operated, big wheel literally, it turns the little lever, and yeah, it's all made of wood and it just spins round. I reckon he built it, like, how crazy is that? And then they're all sat in the little boxes. And there we go, so that's it, it releases it and then spins it round. <laughs> no motors required. That's quite a job. I wonder if he built it or not. That's really cool. Well, off he goes. Blimey, looks quite strenuous. That does. I've never seen a big wheel like that before. Oh, he's going that way. Oh, he has to get the momentum to get it going, I see. I see, he has to proper go for it. How awesome is that? Everything looks a bit homemade down here. You've got this little spinning ride as well. <laughs> I can build your own chair plane. There we go, that's the next winter project. I can't believe it, there's a pirate ship as well and the plane Tichuara on there as well. Look here, we're having a sword fight with them all. <laughs> Can you imagine that back home? I said, they've all got the little pirate hats on and swords. <laughs> Well, that brings us to the end of our epic day here in Benidorm. I've really enjoyed it today. Have you, Charlotte? Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. The sun's been shining and we've managed to fit quite a bit in. It's been amazing. Like, we didn't have a plan at all other than just walking around and just seeing where it goes. And yeah, we've packed in so much today. It's been relaxing. I've really enjoyed just chilling out, walking on the beach and just taking my shoes and socks off and walking through the sea. How nice was that? Oh, that was just so lovely. Oh, it was really relaxing. And then, of course, later on, seeing some of the Benidorm filming locations. We had look at the hotel shame we couldn't get close to the pool but well, maybe we'll stay there at some point in the future like i say we would have done this time if i could have got it but yeah it was sold out oh, sadly that's a shame i suppose july is a really busy time yeah it's peak season and you can really see that it's, it's so, so busy. busy everywhere but uh, no it's been absolutely awesome of course we went to mateo's bar it was great especially seeing the neptune side and then yeah actually into neptune's itself uh, was fantastic really enjoyed it in there i didn't know if the vibe would feel like it does like when you watch the show but it really did in there didn't I it i felt like i was part of the action it was brilliant it was fantastic that was as a huge Benidorm TV series fan um, just doing all this stuff today it's been a bit of a bucket list of mine uh, so it's been really nice to kind of tick it all off come and see it take you all along for a bit of a random day round and yeah that's what we're looking at doing more of on this channel we said it when we was over in New York a couple of weeks ago uh, check out them vlogs if you haven't already seen them actually feels like a lifetime ago now we have we seen um, but yeah we had a brilliant time in New York um, we had some sightseeing in London a few weeks ago and um, so yeah, we're trying to do a bit more of this kind of not really having a plan going around taking you along for a venue because um, that's what this channel is all about. It is the Sandbrook Adventures after all. But you know, Benny Dawn's been amazing. We will definitely be back here at some point in the future, oh, won't 100%. we? 100%. It's just been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I could like to do maybe like a week here and just chill out and really just enjoy it all and soak it in. We really like the entertainment as well. Of course, we used to love nightclubs and going out and partying and we still enjoy that. But I do quite like to sit in somewhere and having some entertainment and being able to have a nice cocktail, you know. It really makes it instead of like the hustle and bustle of yeah. nightclub and stuff. You 
I think I am 30 now, you know, so we've got to tone it down a bit. But so, no, it's been fantastic, really enjoyed it. And of course, head over to Theme Park Worldwide, where you can see our vlog from Terra Mythica, the big theme park that we showed you from a distance earlier on in this vlog, up there on the hillside. Um, but there we go. Thank you very much for watching, and, and have, have your own, own adventures. adventures. We'll see you back home.